Hey everybody and welcome to Shopping with Shayna. Guys, I have an updated must-do deals video that runs from July 5th through the 9th of 2024. This is week two of our buy five or more, save a dollar each mega sale, but no worries. We're going to be heading into week three starting on the 10th, which is completely crazy. I don't know why we're getting another week of this particular sale. I know the reason why we had the nine-day sale and the five-day sale was because of July 4th, but this just seems kind of silly to have another week based on a holiday that's you know, a week ago. Anyway, that's my point of view on that. If you feel like it, that's any different, let me know in the comments. But we are not getting a new sale on Wednesday. If you want to check out the ad preview that I posted on Sat or on Sunday, you definitely can go check that out. I do have it. I'll have it linked at the very end of this video for you as well so that you can see everything that's going on. Of course, the new weekly digitals and so forth. But if you want to find out what is going on currently, we've got a couple of new deals that I need to share with you. Please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button button, ring the notification bell, hit all so you don't miss any of my videos. Guys, I am less than 100 people away from hitting 17,000 people. I would love to do that this week. I would love to do that like today or tomorrow, but I don't know if I could really hit that many subscribers. So I'm going to try to be realistic, but honestly, I could definitely hit this by the end of this week. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we're doing amazing things here, trying to keep you updated on all the awesome deals happening at Kroger so that you can save tons of money when you head into the store. All right, let's jump into this because there's so much to talk about. Now, just a quick reminder, if you have not gotten your gift cards that you want to get July 9th, which is tomorrow, Tuesday, it it's going to end unless for some reason we get another uh, coupon to clip or they try to throw this in at us again. This particular coupon for four times of fuel points on gift cards will end on Tuesday the 9th. So you want to make sure that you go grab whatever you might want to get, whether it's, you know, gift cards to restaurants that you're going to go to anyway, whether it's for actual gifts uh, or whether it's for, you know, back to school shopping. Are you going to go back to school shopping at a Kohl's, at a Target, at, you know, wherever, I don't know, all the stores that they have um, gift cards for. You want to go purchase those with the four times of fuel points, um, digital coupon clipped, Get your four times to do the digital coupon. Sorry, get your four times the fuel points with the digital coupon, and then you can, um, you know, go shopping like normal. Just use your gift card to pay instead of your debit card or your credit card. So there you go. All right, so make sure you do that. You only have two days left. All right, I have a couple of new buy five or more, save a dollar each mega sale deals. Just a quick reminder, somebody just asked me the other day in the comment, I'm really new to couponing, I'm really new to um, shopping at Kroger, um, I'm new to this whole thing. And guys, I, I know that many of you have been here for a long time and you know how this works and you kind of get sick of me saying the same thing. But do you take note that a lot of people are jumping into couponing and trying to save money because the prices have gotten so sky high that they're learning. So I do tr I do repeat myself quite often on these videos, but it is for the benefit of those that are new to the channel. So that being said, if you are new, we have a mega sale where you have to buy five or more participating items within the same transaction. Once you hit five, it doesn't matter. You don't have to buy five of one individual item. You can mix and match. And so if you have six, seven, eight, 103, a dollar per item will come off at checkout once you hit that minimum of five. Of course, once you get to that price, you can also pair this with coupons. They can be digital coupons. They can be, um, man, uh, sorry, store or manufacturer coupons, uh, which will be digital, which would be printable coupons and could be insert coupons. So however that works. And then you can also pair these with rebate apps. Ibotta and Fetch and Checkout 51 and Shopkick and Swagbucks and all those good ones. Any of the ones that I've uh, talked about that you don't happen to have, go to the description box below. Sign up today using referral codes. When you do that, you do help me out for sure. But when you also do that, you're also usually going to get some extra savings. For instance, Maryfield gives you $2 on your first transaction once you use a referral code. So make sure you use that referral code. Okay, let's jump into this. So the first deal I have for you is an update from 
Friday's video. So remember Friday was the first must do deals video. I don't have any other updates. So this is actually the first update, which is kind of weird to have that on a Monday, but it is. Um, so you want to grab two of the Betty Crocker fruit snacks, the regularly priced $3.29. They're on sale for $2.99. Remember that price did go down 50 cents from last week. And they're also part of the mega sale for $1.99. We have a 50 cent off two digital coupons. So make sure that is clipped. You'll pay $1.74 per box. Then we're going to take our receipt and submit it to Ibotta. There's a 50 cents back on to a limit of one time. And then I did happen to miss the Kroger cashback rebate on Friday. I probably was available then. I'm not sure if it was available that day. And I was just on so early in the morning, I didn't catch it because it wasn't um, uploaded yet. But we do have a 50 cents back on two from Kroger cashback. So make sure that is clipped. Your final cost is $1.24 per box, which is a pretty good savings there. Definitely want to grab these. All right, the next deal we have, and I just think this is a really good deal if you're needing any kind of pasta sauce. The Ragu pasta sauce this week is regularly priced $2.59. It's on sale for $2.49, but it's part of the mega sale for just $1.49 each. No coupons needed, just a really great deal for a final cost of $1.49. I think this makes a really good filler item for you. So if you're at like three or four items and you need something, we always need pasta sauce, right? Like there's always an opportunity that you're going to be making spaghetti or something that you you would need the pasta sauce, so you might as well grab it when it's super cheap. Next deal we have is the Garnier Fructis and Shampoo Conditioner. Um, you want to grab two of them. They're regularly priced $4.49, and they're part of the mega sale for $3.49 each. Now, I did have this deal in my video from Friday. The problem was the coupon was expiring on July 6th. Well, lo and behold, July 7th, we had a new coupon pop up. So if you already did this deal, you can do it again. If you missed out on it, now you can do it again. So there is a three off two digital coupon and it makes the final cost $1.99 each. Now I'm not gonna lie, this is not my favorite deal in the world for Garnier. Um, I think you could do a better deal at say a Walgreens or CVS if you are a drugstore shopper, but if you are not and you just want a pretty decent deal, this is an okay deal, so go ahead and grab it. Next deal we have is the L'Oreal LV Shampoo and Conditioner. Now these have really gone up in price. They're regularly priced $5.49 and there's no sale price, which kind of stinks. The mega sale price is $4.49. And if you grab two of them, you can use this three off two digital coupon that we just got loaded on Sunday. The final cost now is $2.99 each. Again, this shampoo and conditioner was stuff that I used to get for 49 cents or less. <laughs> so I'm not loving this deal. And I think you probably, again, could do better if you are a drugstore shopper like a Walgreens or CVS. So again, it, it just depends on what is a good price for you personally. If you're an extreme couponer, this is a no-go deal. All right, just a quick reminder about the Box Top app. I know I bring this up, but I had a really cool experience. If you didn't get to see my video, uh, my shopping haul video that I did on Saturday, I posted on Saturday, you should go check that out. I actually had about 16, I think it was 16 items that were part of the box top app i split them into three transactions uh, because right now kroger has a deal going on when you buy five participating um, items in the same transaction you get 50 bonus box tops that's five dollars for the school of your choice so i did three different transactions two of them had five each in them and one had six and so i ended up getting you end up getting five you know a 10 cents each so that's 50 cents plus the five dollar bonus so it's five dollars and fifty cents total per transaction and the one transaction that i did was um five dollars and fifty cents well actually it's five dollars and sixty cents so that's where you get the 1660. now i do have to take note that the mots um, bars did not register even though they have the box top thing on the the box itself but i did put in a ticket and i'm probably going to end up getting that back monday or tuesday um, because it was like it needed like three business days. So it may be Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday, but I should get all of that back for sure. And then the other thing that I happened to hit was my monthly bonus of July for July is when you buy um, seven products throughout the month, you're going to get a dollar 40 extra. Well, I blew that out of the water and we got that done too. So it actually ended up being another 
dollar and forty cents. So we're looking at what eighteen dollars. Really awesome way to to be able to do this. So just a quick reminder to all of you out there. Remember also if you're going to sign up for the first time, use my referral code or use somebody's referral code because the first time that you do this, that you use the referral code, your school gets a bonus two dollars and my school of my choice gets a bonus two dollars. So that's pretty awesome. And if you use somebody else's referral code, that's fine too. I just don't want to see four dollars go to to waste and if you by not signing up with a referral code. All right, let's move into a couple of Kroger deals that are happening. Um, these are non-mega sale deals, so let's just jump right into this. The first one is the Bomb Pop Extremes. These are regularly priced $4.49. I'm not going to lie, I have not seen pretty good deals on these, but now they're on sale for $2.99, so that's pretty good. Out of pocket, that's what you'll pay, and then you can submit your receipt to Ibotta, get a dollar back on one, and it's a limit of five times. So now these are $1.99 each. Well, these popsicles are normally 12 count, or they are 12 count, I should say. So for $1.99, you're getting 12 snacks. That's amazing. This is a really great deal. I highly recommend grabbing this one. Another really good deal is the Margaritaville Shrimp eight ounce boxes. These are regularly priced $8.99 and the sale is buy one, get one. So you can grab two of them and pay roughly $4.50 each or it'll be $8.99 total, which I think is a pretty decent deal for these. Um, back just automatically 50% off. Another really good deal is the Maury's Fish, and this is kind of a run deal because the Kroger Cashback does expire today on the 8th. Now, it may reload, uh, but it may not. So right now is the time to do it. You want to grab two of the Maury's Fish. They're regularly priced $9.99. They're buy one, get one. Out of pocket will be $9.99 for two of them. Submit your receipt to Ibotta for two back on one. That's a limit of five times, so you get $4 back there. Then submit your receipt to Kroger Cashback for $2 back on one, limit of five times, and that's another $4 back. And again, that ends today, so you want to make sure you take care of this today. The final cost ends up being $1.99 total for two boxes or just $0.99 cents each, so really, really awesome deal. The question is, what do you want to purchase? Are you going to get the cod? Are you going to get the flounder? Let me know in the comments. Next deal, and I thought this is a really good deal, is the Nature's Way Elderberry Gummies. Now, I was kind of excited to see the zero sugar ones there because I definitely like taking these, but I don't like taking them with all the sugar in them. But they're regularly priced $18.99. Now, out of pocket, that's what you'll have to pay. Now, considering this is probably not going to disappear on us anytime soon, I would almost sit on this and wait until you get four times the fuel points on Friday. So that way, you're when you're paying almost $19 out of pocket, it's worth more than that. You're going to get most of that back. So Ibotta has an $8 rebate back for a limit of one time. And then Kroger Cashback also has a $7 rebate back limit of one time. And that is going to leave you at a final cost for $3.99. So really great deal. One other option that you may want to look at is see if they have any on clearance or closeout. Um, I know that a lot of times in my store, there's a lot of vitamins that are on clearance back in the clearance section. So go check that out. It will vary from store to store, but if you can find something that's, um, you know, even at five, ten dollars off, you could get a really amazing deal with these rebates. All right, so let's talk real quick about the Ibotta bonus update that's going on. How many of you have noticed your Firework Funds bonus? So my Firework Funds bonus is 55 offers for $10. Now it does, I think it ends, what, the 15th, really early in the morning. It's really, I think, the 14th. So we have the rest of this weekend, next weekend, to get this deal done if you're going to hit this bonus. Now, I know the last time we had a bonus, I was on vacation. It was 60 offers for $10, and I just wasn't able to hit it because I wasn't shopping. This week, I might be able to hit it. I'm already started with 18 offers from over the weekend, and I can, if I grab anything this week as well as next weekend, we might be able to hit it. But again, I don't believe in just buying things to hit bonuses. So unless it's going to make something a freebie or moneymaker, I'm probably not going to stress myself out to hit that, but we'll see what happens. 
All right, the last thing we're going to do is question of the day. So this question is bought, brought to you from a subscriber and from someone that participates on my Facebook page. And by the way, if you've joined the Facebook group, um, those of you that are uh, have joined are amazing because for the longest time, I haven't had a lot of participation on this Facebook group. I've had it for years. If you're not aware, I actually started doing a blog first that didn't do very well and never amounted to much. And somehow while doing the blog, I stumbled into YouTube. I actually, this is before everything was listed online. I would go into the store on Wednesdays and just film all of the mega sale deals. And then I would post it on YouTube for me so that I could go back and watch it and put together d deals for everybody. And I just needed a place to house it. And that's kind of how my journey to face or from um, blogging to YouTube came. And I then started to realize I actually have a following and I can make money on YouTube. And so I switched over and, and I help way more people than I do um, ever on that dumb blog, but I did have a Facebook group that I started years ago when I started teaching couponing classes and all that stuff. And it's been generally silent, but the last couple of months, you guys have been jumping on there and sharing deals and talking with each other. And I absolutely love it. So if you haven't come on over to the Facebook page, I have it, I think linked in the description box below, or I think you can get to it on my homepage on YouTube. So join that. Of course, always, you can follow me on Instagram too. Cause I do, a, I, I try to do some on that. I'm I'm getting better, but then I kind of fell off the wagon with vacation, so I do need to get back on that. Um, but the question is bought, brought to you by Gerard, who said, question, does anybody here do this for fun as well as saving on groceries? Do you ever have storage issues? So is there anyone in here? So it's kind of the, the question of the day. I thought that was a pretty good question. So how many of you do this just to save money on your groceries, or how many of you do this for like fun? Um, and do you have a problem with storing everything? So I'm going to answer the question, Gerard. I obviously do this for several different reasons. Saving on groceries is the main point. Yes. Um, I do this. I do enjoy it. I, I can't tell you how awesome it is. I'm sure many of us couponers know what a high it is to see like a hundred dollars worth of stuff come down to pennies or possibly even free. So it feels really good when everything works out well and you do get quite a high and it is a lot of fun. Um, I also do this now as a job. So this is just another one of my jobs that I do. I'm a teacher. Uh, I'm also a YouTuber. So this is something that I have to do um, for work too. Um, but as far as storage issues go, in general, I don't necessarily have a lot of storage issues. I don't over um, pack anything. I feel like when I get to, when I'm starting to get a lot of something, I kind of back off and stop. So like laundry detergent, we're kind of overflowing with it. So I kind of stopped grabbing it. Um, I would get it if it was free, but since it's not free right now, or I haven't seen a freebie deal in a while, um, I just kind of wait until I'm getting to where I need to get it. And then I really start like laying into it. So that's kind of how I do things. I'm sure other people are very different and they just will go grab every deal. There's probably some people in here that, you know, you guys are stockpile sellers. So you're constantly buying. But anyway, love to know where everybody's at in their journey of couponing. Is this for fun? Is this for just savings for groceries? Is this for more than that? Let us know in the comments below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a great big thumbs up. Make sure you share this with a friend or go back and watch Friday's video because there's a ton of deals to see. And of course, you can watch my haul video on Saturday from Saturday. So go watch that too. Have a wonderful week and I'll be back with you more deals later. Bye guys.